Hello everyone, we are back. My name is William here with G Clef, and we're back to try some more games here with blockchain games. Yeah, I'm G Clef, guys. I'm very excited to be back here. What else, what other block game do we have ready for today? I'm really excited again. So today, G Clef, we're going to be looking at another game that's just been released. We're continuing to look at the freshest games here on blockchain on WeMix Play. And today it's going to be Gator Zeroverse. So let's take a look at the overview here for the game, because I've been told it's a very different genre. Yeah, let's see and scroll down what this game is all about. It says, been big, bold letters, Dong Dawn World. Okay, first parallel okay. universe. Ooh, and there's also okay. NFT in huh. Zeroverse. Higher the cash value, more the resources you will okay. get from mining. All right, well, we'll take a look at this. Ah. I, I want to know exactly what they mean by mining. How does this come into play? But it does look like there's rarities in NFTs in this game. Looks like it's going to be a bit of a card-based game here. Yeah, so again, you can take a closer look at the details there. But again, we've always talked about this. You have to get into the game to really get a feel for how this all works. It already seems simple enough. So this you ready, G-Club? Yeah, this is always the moment that I always been waiting for. I mean, I do want to get a head start on all the information, but I do want to play okay. the game first because that's the exciting it. part. All right, well, this is going to be Gator Zeroverse. You ready? I'm ready. Let's, Let's play. play. The Zeroverse, as the center of the universe, is surrounded by countless parallel universes, each with its own civilization. The Zeroverse maintains the stability of these parallel universes using its energy. Ooh, okay, so we're greeted with a cinematic off the bat with, with narration as well. I like the graphics already. I mean, also, it's always a good sign when you see a game that's really trying to draw you into the lore, right? With the voices, mm -hmm. with the cinematic, everything. Okay, okay I guess right. we can select a random... All right. Which one do you like the most? I'm fine with this one. DuPont Danielle. <laughs> All, All right, right that's my in. new name. Okay, D that's D my Gator ID. Double D, there we go. All right. Oh, uh, hello, Gators. You are now at the center of all the parallel universes, oh, which is Zeroverse. That's okay. what Zeroverse is. Looking okay. forward to your contribution to restore. All right, let's get through it. Ooh, select the avatar you descended on. Ah. Oh, okay, so I guess, I mean, it sounds like each time we go into a new world, you're going to select a new avatar, but change their personality. I don't know if this has any effects, but all right, what what type of uh, what type of player are you? <laughs> okay, you're a seductive player. We're going with that, Chief Clef. Great to know more about you. Uh, happy to be your partner here. Just had to press that, right? <laughs> Let's go fight those werewolves. All right. There's so we're supposed bug. to be using magic. Oh. We won. Okay. <laughs> our book just fought for us and we won. That's why it was insignificant, right? <laughs> I assume this is just to get us used to what the battle looks like. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ah, okay, because we didn't have any part of our team. Now we have up to ah, two. We like. couldn't even have a formation before. Okay, okay. Yeah. All right. So there's expansion of power. This okay. way we can fight alongside each other. Okay. So I'll drag it over here. So these are our cards, and it looks like, oh, yeah, we've got ah. some voice lines for each card as well, so that's cool. All right, try the summoning charm. Ooh, summon. All right, all right. This is this is our favorite part. This, this is, is my part right here. It's the summons. What are we gonna get? Yeah, we got basic summons. They cost three hundred oh. coins. We've got a we've got a ton. We got one hundred and four thousand. So our first basic summon here. Let's see what we get. Okay. Oh, the cat that we just bought. Yeah, we got down. the cat back. Very um very creepy looking. Follow me. All right, let's see. This is. Ooh. Ooh! Illustration, okay. Wow. So the cat was a neutral card, the most common card in game. The tutorial wants us to go to SSR here. NFT cards that are more powerful than ordinary heroes. Uh -huh. I mean, we got like Sun God, they Holy got gods, Spirits. The yeah. Holies and the Demon Bride. Oh, Holy Spirit Archer? Is that what we're taking with that? Wow. Very shiny. I mean, also all like with slight animations, I wonder if that's going to be by rarity as well. But 
I mean, as it goes with card games, I'm sure you've played your fair share of mm -hmm. CCGs and TCGs, but once they become digital, you can have a lot more fun with the artwork, and I'm glad that that variety is already here. And it also basically means the rarity will give you a lot more strength and power mm -hmm. once you form your deck. We, I think in total with two cards, I think we only had about 400 something, but this card already has 2,400 by itself. Yeah. So it should be one of the strongest ones in game. So let's take a look step by step, but obviously taking a look at the overall collection, I mean, there are, oh, you know what I'm seeing here what? is we, we saw it on the homepage earlier as well, but there's regular cards mm -hmm. and then there's NFT That's cards. That's right. But with different rarities at the same time. Mm -hmm. So we saw earlier, I believe, regular cards, they can't um, have the caps for the extra mm -hmm. mining and things like that, but obviously they can still take part in your team. And even these already, I mean, there's there's a lot going on here in terms of, oh, can we can we take a look at previews here? No, not yet. Yeah. Yeah, and these a are animated as well. Uh -huh. So if we take a look, I'm personally invested in this hamster king here. <laughs> the, the animation's actually pretty good. Mm -hmm. I mean, you got facial expressions on all of that. So th what I like about this is when you talk about CCGs, obviously the power and everything matters for battles, mm -hmm. but it is a collection that you're, that you're working towards. So you want to have your favorites. So it's cool to see that. And once you, once you get settled, you do need to have a built deck and a concept deck that you can be defeat the opponent, depending on the meta. So I think we need to really search for the right team and the right skill that you want to get. And also, by because you had illustrations, which was a menu that we had before. Yeah, it does look like you have to toss them in one by one for the time being. Oh, we can skip animation and just summon again. There ah, you go. So because it, just to save time. Oh, hold on, it gets more and more expensive though. Oh. We just used all our gold. <laughs> You just stole our coins. I did? <laughs> Listen, that's how they get you. That's how they get you. We still have 12k. We still have 12k. I remember you saying we have plenty of gold to summon so many. Well, I didn't know it what? gets more expensive every time, but that's how, that's how they make sure you don't just click away uh, forever. Okay, so it started okay. at like 3k, but it gets quite expensive right mm -hmm. away. So Maybe they reset uh, every day or so. I, there's probably some mechanic mm -hmm. there. Well, obviously we have to fill out our team, so we did get some extra ones. See what they look like here. Oh, we got, oh, so you can have duplicates as well for the normal cards since they're not unique. All of them with voice lines. Very, uh, very desperate looking soldier there. And maybe you can, because you can get duplicates, maybe you can level up by having multiples into, oh. because I do see empty slots on the bottom. Yeah, it looks like it. Let's save that. Uh, save the formation. Uh, okay, a lot of soul stones hoping to sell them. So H, oh, so it's an auction house where you can trade if you have overflowing soul stones. Where is it? So I guess we go into the auction house. Ah, with ah. world coins, okay. So that's how you trade world coins for soul stones. Okay, all right. Good to know, good to know. So world coins are that in-game currency, right? Mm. Not the tokens themselves, not the gator tokens. But if you have a lot of that and you don't have enough soul stones, you can go to the auction house and then vice versa as well. Yeah, that's really cool that they actually have auction house to go have the flow of the currency going in-game. Mm -hmm. I think we just move on with the adventure for now. Wait, can we go back to summons or was it? Sure. Okay, so uh, obviously the basic summons we did with our gold before, but we want to get the best of the best here. Mm -hmm. right, the basic Club? summons, I think it was really basic cards only, but we do want to have the maximum potential summon, yes. and I am all about summons, all right. if you know me. Well, I'll, I'll let you do the honors, all right? Really? We have enough soul stones, 900 available to get our 10 times summon. Let's <gasps> see. Let's Ten see how lucky you are. The temple. Go for it. All right, you, you got your own little routine. I see it. I see it. First, I have to clean the screen. Okay, no, no we don't have time for that. We don't have time for that. Jump right in. Okay. Let's see the animation. Oh, that looks like a legendary. Oh, wow. Is that an SSR? I think so. Yeah, I think the gold is an SSR, right? Can we take a closer look at each one? No, we'll have to go into our collection, but we got two SRs mm -hmm. and one SSR out of it. The Blade Tip Girl, the SSR, the Royal Guard, and Wind Speaking Mage for our SRs as well. Yeah, some purples and a gold. Let's collect and go back. There we go. There so we go. These are the SRs that we got. 
when speaking me. Okay, so SRs aren't animated. It's only SSRs. Mm -hmm. So I, I was curious on how that works out. So this is the first SR, and then this was the second SR, the purple that we got, the ro Royal Guard. Uh -huh. And then okay, they we have their have own one abilities. More. Oh. And the SSR. The Blade Girl. Well. It's animated as you have predicted, only the SSR. Mm -hmm. Yep, a lot more power as well. Oh, and then there's the combo skills. Oh, with certain characters only. Yeah, so ah. this is, you want to take a look at your combo skills here and say, okay, if I have these cards, I want to put them into my formation mm. to make it a possible for that combo skill to come out. And, you know, each of them will have their own combinations. You know, this combo skill, the SRs and SSR, obviously, it's going to vary in power, but you have a better chance of gaining the lower uh, rarity cards. Now I understand a little bit more, because in the formation, you can put in so many different cards, right? There's a reason why, because you need different types of combo, yeah. a lot of cards in a deck, in one formation. And so it makes a lot more sense. Put in the duplicates as well to increase the chances of drawing ah. that combo. So, okay, so there's a lot of uh, what we like to call deck building here for the formation on Gator Zeroverse, but... All right, you know, with the temple, we got two SRs and SSRs now. As someone who's done a lot of uh, summons in different games, what what is your overall thought on how did that ten times summon? Go? I think ten pull with two S, uh, two SR and a single SSSR. I think that is still a really good pull. That's pretty good. Okay. It's a, I think it's actually a pretty good pull. Okay. So we've taken a look at the gameplay itself, right? The battle. It, it's based on your formation. Mm -hmm. We talked about how to get the summons here. Uh, the potential of NFT cards here in Gator Zeroverse as well. G Clef, what's your overall impression here of Gator Zeroverse? So, so far, there's a lot to the game. We, we still have to go through a lot of adventures. Even off of camera, I think we have a lot of, of adventure <laughs> to go through because yeah. so far it's really easy. But once we get into really deeper level, I think we'll be finding out a lot more combination. The gameplay looks really straightforward mm -hmm. and also deep at the same time. Mm -hmm. So these are like uh, easy to play, hard to master games. And once you have a lot more cards with NFT, I think they will also have different combinations with animations and skills. And I do like the fact that the, the animation and the graphics looks really nice. And on top of that, there are lots of tactics where you can actually go through and also get the Gator back into your NFT. Yeah. So I think you, this is totally a game that you do want to check out in Remix. Yeah, I, I'm curious, my biggest question mark here is exactly how the NFTs come into play, right? So the concept of having a unique card with its own power and then the cap for mining is very cool. But since we haven't gotten the, to that point yet and we haven't minted our own NFT in the game, I'm curious, you know, what's going to be my value impression of that ah. NFT? Obviously, it's going to feel good to have your own collection and have a unique NFT that others don't. But also for gameplay purposes, how much does that actually get back to me? In theory, the game's saying it's going to matter a decent amount, uh, but at the same time, as we've seen, just the basic adventure you can get through with the regular cards as well. So I like that there's a balance. I'm just curious because, like you mentioned, the artwork, the voice lines, all that seems very cool. So I want the NFTs to have some really unique value uh, that I feel that the investment was really worth it. So I think with the, after the summoning guide, I think we've been we just went through all of it and still maybe. We need to take some more further time later on to play more game, but I think that's it for now. All right, well, that's Gator Zeroverse. Again, a CCG on blockchain here on Weemix Play. With an extra twist, you can have the NFTs, the unique cards in game for your collection with their own unique illustrations. So if you're interested to see how this game plays out, make sure you join in and jump into that very first universe. It's going to be Dawn World right away. Now let's go to the next All right, yeah, okay, we'll go, go to the next one. <laughs> All right, that's it for us. Goodbye, SG Club. Bye bye. Continues to uh, try to collect his own <laughs> formation here. We'll see you next time.